you ever feel like you're just going through the motions and you're not making the days count? In today's episode, I'm going to give you six tips to slow things down and really appreciate the finer things in life. Let's get right into it. I've spoken to hundreds of dads and done dozens of interviews. And one of the most common problems that I see is dads saying, Mark, I'm not getting enough value out of each day. Time is moving by so quickly. How do I really stop and appreciate the special moments? Each day is special, each moment is special. So the first tip that I have for you to make the moments really count is to break the routine and be spontaneous. Listen, routine is really important as dads in order to make everything work, but breaking the routine and being spontaneous can really make the most out of each day. It can really feel like you're in a rut when you wake up, you go to work, you come home, you eat, and you go to sleep, you wash, rinse, and repeat. The same thing can get very mundane and dull. My challenge to you would be one day when you get home from work, instead of going into your normal routine, do something special. Maybe instead of eating dinner at home, you pack up a picnic basket and you go to the local lookout or to the beach or somewhere unique or interesting. Make a special day out of nothing. It doesn't take a lot of money, it just takes a little bit of thought. I would encourage you to check out the Active Dad group on Facebook. It's a great community and a really good place for you to bounce ideas off of other awesome Active Dads. One of the most effective ways of making the moments count is to plan ahead. One of the biggest mistakes that dads make is waking up on Saturday and just being like, well, what am I gonna do today? Brother, wake up with a plan. When you go to sleep on Friday night, you should have at least a general idea of what Saturday is gonna look like. Tell your kid before you go to sleep, we're going to the zoo, or we're going to the baseball game, or we're going to the museum. Go to sleep with a plan. When you wake up, you'll be motivated and ready to hit it. The third way you can make the moments count is by putting away distractions. This is probably one of the most obvious, but one of the most critical mistakes that people make. Put away your phone, turn off the television, mute everything. Focus on what's in front of you right now. You'll be surprised at how effective that can be. The other day, I was trying to have a conversation with my daughter while the television was on. It was not happening. He'd like if you've ever been in that situation before. As soon as I turned off the TV, she moaned and cried. But five minutes later, all was forgotten and we were having fun playing a game. Turn off the TV and the distractions. You won't be disappointed. Probably one of the biggest mistakes that we as dads make is not defining what's important to us. We're being spread so thin. We have so many different responsibilities. It's really important that you take some time and define what's your priority. Now listen, your priorities can change from day to day, from week to week, from month to month. Maybe you have a big deadline at work that you have to hit. Maybe that's your priority. Maybe you're having a lull at work and you can take your family on a great vacation. The key here is defining what are your priorities and reassessing. Communicate with your partner, communicate with your kids, communicate with your boss. If you can define your priorities, you put yourself in a much better position to make the most out of the day that you're in now. Define your priorities. The fifth technique is to just say no. This classic adage really applies to prioritizing your time. You're gonna be hit with hundreds and hundreds of different options on a daily basis. Knowing what to say no to and what to say yes to is really important. If you followed step four and you've defined your priorities, it makes saying no a lot easier. So define your priorities and then say no to things that aren't in line with your priorities. The sixth way that you can really make the most out of each day is by finding commonality. And what I mean by that is finding the things that not only you really enjoy doing, but your kids enjoy doing and vice versa. If you really love to play basketball, take your kids to the basketball court or to the basketball game. Not only will they get a ton of value of spending that quality time with dad, but you're gonna get a ton of value because you're doing something that you really enjoy. Keep putting your kids at different events, different activities, and try to get yourself involved, whether it's by coaching or by painting with them or learning a new musical instrument. The reality is if you keep finding common activities and common passions, you can put those things together. And it's where the magic really happens when it comes to fatherhood. Thanks for watching this video today. I hope that you're gonna get some value. Make sure to check out the Active Dad group on Facebook. Great place to be. And i also like to please ask that you like and subscribe to the channel. That means a lot to me. Leave a comment below. What is something that you have done to really make the most out of each moment? I know you can do it. Have a great one. Make it count. Peace.